gosh, good morning. <laughs> I am so sorry for being late. Uh, everything I touch today just completely backfires on me. I am having a terrible morning, but hopefully it will be better now. Um, I, I think everything's working okay. It looks like you guys can hear me. It looks like you can see me. Light's still terrible. Colors are still awful, awful but we'll figure it out. <sighs> Let's try this again. All right. Good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. My name is Danny, and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the So Not an Expert channel because that is actually what I am today. Uh, for those of you new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Welcome. Please make sure you consider subscribing. For those that um, are already here, please make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already done so. <sighs> It has been a morning. Um, for those of you do, who don't know, um, I start my S Sunday morning live streams on the second Tuesday or the second Sunday of every month, a little bit later than normal because we usually have breakfast with our daughters. We have a virtual breakfast with all of our daughters who who uh, go to college, but they canceled on us the, late last night because they were some of them were going to um, a concert yesterday, which is fine. That's no problem. It's never a requirement for breakfast. Um, so they did that, so I thought I could sleep in a little bit this morning, which has completely thrown off my entire Sunday morning. <laughs> so I do apologize for that. I'm a little scatterbrained at the moment, trying to figure everything out. Um, I did get my vlog Vlogmas video up this morning, so hopefully you guys got a chance to check that out. If not, make sure you uh, check that out after the stream. Today we're going to be working on some more paper piecing projects. This is a project we've kind of rotated into the channel a couple of times now. I'm still working on it, so I thought I would bring it back. I had another project I wanted to try and get started, but I just I didn't have enough time this week to really get to it. Um, there's been a lot going on in my daytime job, um, so there's a lot going on there. I know chat is just completely blowing up, and um, I'm going to thank everybody for that here very shortly. Uh, th that's the noise I'm hearing. Okay, sorry. I could hear myself talking. I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Apparently, I had the volume on my phone. I promise, guys, I will I will get it together in just a minute. My goodness. <laughs> I hope your day is going much better than mine is this morning. I promise we will get into this. All right, let me hop in a chat. Maybe if I hop in there, say hello to everybody. I'll kind of center myself a little bit, and we'll be able to get going with this. Oh, my goodness. It has just been, it has been a morning. <laughs> it, you know, it has been a weekend is really what it has been. It has been like this all weekend for me. I just can't not seem to get my stuff together. <laughs> <laughs> so good morning again thank you so much Kathy good morning I saw you this morning thank you so much for joining good morning Vicki hello Sandra good morning uh, Sandra just I did send you an email but I just wanted you to know you had redeemed a fat quarter I'm sorry a notion last stream um, as part of your thimbles program I have that ready for you I was waiting for envelopes to show up in the mail thank goodness they showed up yesterday so I will get that in the mail to you tomorrow so you'll see that here very shortly uh, Sandra, I said good morning to you. Terry, good morning. Hello, good morning. Lucas is in the house. Good morning, Lucas. Thank you so much for, for keeping everybody busy for me while I was uh, trying to get my stuff together. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Dawn, hey Dawn, good morning. I got to catch you really quickly on Sean's channel yesterday. That looked like so much fun. Looks like you guys are having so much fun over there. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Dawn's channel and to Sean's channels. Um, I'm sure Lucas can throw links in the chat for me if he, when he gets a second. Um, that looked like so much fun. I was so glad I got to pop in there and say hello to you guys real quick. Uh, that was a lot of fun. You guys said some some wonderful things about our channel here, which I'm just so grateful for. There, there's never I never pop into someone's chat for that type of a reason, but it's always always a welcome thing. Uh, good morning, June. Hi. Good morning. It's so good to see you again. Thanks so much for popping in today. Hi, Linda. Hello there. Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Good morning. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Shady Susan. Hello, Susan. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining. And for those of you who don't know, Shady Susan has also started her own channel, too, called Sewing Sensations by Shady Susan. So make sure you give her a follow. I don't have a link set up in chat just for her yet, but I will get one. Uh, we'll, we'll get working on that as quick as we can. Just checking to see if I've missed anybody else as I'm popping through here real quick. Not seeing anyone. Oh, good morning, Brenda. I'm sorry. Good morning. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. Hello, hello. <laughs> Lucas. Lucas is doing some creator stuff. Thank you, Lucas, for doing all that for me. I appreciate it. 
Awesome, awesome. All right, well, if I miss you, I apologize. Please make sure you say hello again in chat, and I'll make sure to catch up with you. <sighs> okay, I, I'm, I'm starting to get centered now. I'm starting to, I'm starting to slowly get there. Things are, things are starting to calm down a bit for me, so I do apologize for that. Oh, yeah, Susan, no problem, no problem. So this, this is going to annoy me today, this headband, but we're going to try and keep it on. We'll see how it goes. All right, so back to what we're working on today. Uh, today we're going to be working on some paper piecing. This is by, what is this called? Miss Rosie Quilts Company by Moda. These, this is a cupcake recipe. Again, lighting is awful. I'm sorry, guys. It's, like, terrible. But it's paper piecing. So basically you sew up the lines and then you slice it up. It make, this one makes half square triangles that you sew back up that make two different types of blocks that I can't even grab today. Uh, this one, which is really, really pretty. And then my favorite is actually this one. I love this one. It's so much fun. But I need to make two more of these. I'm going to be using these in a table runner. I haven't decided if I'm going to put sashing in between them yet. I, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to wait to see how many blocks I end up with. But I need to make two more of these star blocks first, and then we can get started with the rest of it. I've got my iron heating up here. It was just warm a second ago, so we'll get that going. Good morning, Lorraine. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hello, hello. Thanks so much. Hopefully your morning is going better than mine. Seems like everything is just completely going to, to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> for, for lack of a better word, I apologize for the swear, but oh my goodness. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning. Hello. How are you? I'm glad to see that there are others popping in here as well. Thank you. Good morning. <sighs> I just, whew, I just, whew. need like 10 seconds here, guys. Oh my goodness. So I went to go start the stream, and then I could, the cloud bot wasn't working, so Streamlabs wasn't working, so I had to turn that on. So that so I had to get that going, and then just as I'm about ready to, to hit the button to go, uh, Angel decides to tip over her water bowl. <laughs> so that's why I had to quick send a note to Lucas and say, hang on, and so I had to clean up that, uh, wash that out, refill that for her. She's been... She has been difficult <laughs> the last week or so, and I'm not really sure what's going on. But hopefully, it's, there's nothing wrong with her health-wise. But yeah, she's been she's been very difficult the last couple of days. <laughs> Don says Helen has basket is my life. Amen, Don. Amen. I just I try and hide it really well, but it doesn't always work out. <laughs> it catches up with me every once in a while. Oh, yes. No, my, my life is complete chaos most days. It is not nearly as organized as it may seem, it may appear on camera. You know what, with the lighting, I just, I, I try, guys. Oh, by the way, we did. We hit 350 subscribers. Ooh, I'm all the way off here. 350 subscribers, so that's really exciting. Uh, congrats. Thank you so much to all of our subscribers. That's really exciting. Our goal is to hit 500 by our one-year anniversary, which is at the end of January. I don't think we're going to make it there, but we're sure going to give it a go. <laughs> yes, Terry, I always blame Angel. Because <laughs> she's the only person that I can blame. Uh, so, yes, no, I, I completely agree with you there, yep. Oh, thank you, Martha Theos, thank you. And, and thank you to all of the creators who have been giving me shout-outs from their channels. I am just completely honored. Uh, Martha gave me one, which, by the way, good morning, Martha. I didn't even see you pop in there. Good morning. <laughs> uh, Martha gave me a shout-out, which was so kind of her. Uh, Mona gave me a shout-out on her channel. Again, super kind of her. Sean keeps giving me <laughs> shout-outs on his channel, which is amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, Dawn said some really kind words on Sean's channel yesterday. I mean, you guys are just amazing. I really need to get my, myself together and, and start helping to promote you guys a little bit more than I am because I, I really need to start doing that to, as a way of saying thank you. So, all right. So let's get started. Maybe if I focus on something, <laughs> my brain will stop flying on all cylinders here. Um, we need to make two of these star blocks first. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got... Uh, I don't know, like 10 of these left to do, which is going to make like five blocks left, I think. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. So let me grab these first two here. I'm just kind of randomly picking my blocks. So the blocks are a, a blue batik fabric from this charm pack here called Winter Sparkle by Robert Kaufman. 
and then the and then there's a solid inside which is a tone on tone white um it was a I don't know the name or the pattern of it unfortunately it was a gift to me from another subscriber who brought gave sent me a bunch of uh, leftover fabrics that they had so I've been kind of using those up as I go along <sighs> yes yes Martha I love love these colors as well I love this blue batik fabric I'm so glad I bought two of them these these charm packs because they're absolutely gorgeous I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the other one yet I may just sit and stare at it because it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> I absolutely love it. So, all right, so let's get started here. So I've sewn these up already. We did that um, a while ago with a couple of live streams ago. And so now all I need to do is slice them up to make them into the triangles, iron them flat, trim off the corners, the dog ears, which I'm going to need a pair of scissors for. And um, then we sew them back up together. Yes, Terry reminding everybody to hit that, to tickle that like button. Yep, it does like it. It likes to be tickled. <laughs> More of this is, I think I would stare at it too. Absolutely, absolutely, yes, 100%. Okay, apparently I didn't grab a ruler. Let me grab a ruler real quick. I don't think I need this big, huge one. I think I can use this small one. All right, so, so now that I've gotten all my drama out of the way, <laughs> someone else tell me about yours. <laughs> How was your Sunday? How was your week? What projects are you working on? You guys know I love, love to see all of those. Um, forgive me, but then we have a subscriber on our Facebook page that posted a picture of a project she's working on. I think it's an Irish chain. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's either a nine patch or an Irish chain. I can't remember at the moment, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember her name. I want to say it's Dawn. I think that's her name but either way she's been posting pictures of it in our Facebook it's beautiful I love seeing what you guys are working on you keep me inspired uh, to keep moving forward with my projects so please let me know what are you guys working on yes Lucas yes well I mean I didn't want to say anything because it's not my news but yes Lucas we're really excited for Lucas he got a promotion at his job he is a supervisor right Lucas um, he was <laughs> He was telling Tony that the hardest part about being a supervisor was telling people what to do, which <laughs> I think that's the easiest part myself. Um, you know, Tony and I have that knack. We're, we're pretty good at that. <laughs> but yes, congrats to Lucas on his promotion on his new job. Hopefully that doesn't take him away from us here, but we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Oh, okay. Yes, Don. Okay. So it is the same Dawn, just making sure, well, it is beautiful. The, the project that you're working on is absolutely beautiful. Um, so I encourage everybody, if you're not already a member of our Facebook group, head over there, check out what Dawn's been posting over there. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I wasn't sure if it was the same Dawn, you know, different names and things. <laughs> so Terry says, Congratulations, Lucas. Run with it. Tell him what to do. <laughs> there you go. Yes, it's very exciting. I'm re we're all really excited for Lucas. But a new position always comes with new responsibilities, which can be stressful for sure. But I'm sure he will do fantastic. All right, so I need to sew all these or cut all these pieces up. I don't know why I'd cut it like that. I probably should have cut it a little different, but that's all right. I'm just not paying you that close of attention, so I got to be more careful here. Let me just trim up these edges, and I think we might have to change out our blade again. So I use cheap blades in my rotary cutters, and unfortunately that also means that they don't last very long, but I have also been doing a lot of cutting lately, so there's that as well. Oh my goodness, Lucas says he's only work, he only worked there three days and already got a promotion. Well, I mean, obviously they see something great in you, you know, like we all do. And I'm sure you deserved it. All right. Absolutely. So Dawn, tell me, was that, forgive me again, I have terrible, terrible short-term memory. Um... Is it a nine patch 
or is it an Irish chain that you posted the picture of? I mean, I can obviously go pop over there and look, but which, which is it? I can't remember. It's beautiful. I know that. I love those colors. They're like, well, at least in the pictures, they look like a, like a pastel almost. They're not super bright, but I really like it. And it almost looks like it's a bone background because I don't think it's like a bright white, but it was really, really pretty. You did an amazing job. So there's two. Nine patch with negative spaces in between. Oh, it's a tan background. Okay. She says, using what I have. No, absolutely. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know it wasn't a bright white. Um, I wasn't sure if it was like a bone or a tan, but it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, if you guys are on our Facebook, you need to go over and check that out. And if you're not a member of our Facebook, you can do exclamation point FB in chat. It'll give you a link. You can sign up there. Don't forget, you can also find us on Instagram too. I'm still trying to figure out how that all works out. Right now, it's basically just full of Vlogmas photos, <laughs> but I'm getting there. I am getting there. Good morning, Marie. Hello. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, my, my my Sunday morning has been a bit of a chaos, but I'm, I'm managing. I'm trying to... You know, just like everybody else uses uh, quilting and sewing to kind of level their head and get them to kind of be centered again. That's what I am doing this morning. Um, so good morning. This was Lance cut. Um, yesterday I had to work my, uh, daytime job. We did our physical inventory, so that kind of sucked. I had to work on a Saturday, so I was up super early in the morning. So then I, I went to work. It took, like, way longer than it normally does. I was there for almost, almost seven hours. It was crazy. And then, um, I came home. I picked up my husband, and we took off again to, uh, go pick up one of our daughters, Taylor. She is home um, a week early because all of her finals are online so she can do them all here from home so she asked if she could come home a week early so uh, she is here she's probably getting ready for the day somewhere in the house I tried to convince her to come on the live stream this morning but she didn't want to have any part of it but that's okay you know these college kids, they're not all that exciting, excited about it. I'm sure my other daughter, Tony, is probably still sleeping. She comes home in a couple weeks, but I don't have to go get her. She has her own car, so she, she can drive herself. And then Lucas will be home soon. Lucas, when do you come home? The week of Christmas? Is that two weeks from now? Right, Martha? Absolutely. One step at a time. That is exactly what I do on my channel for sure. Yes, absolutely. She says she's having fun on her channel, and I think I am too. Absolutely, Martha. Yeah, no, I, it's like Sean says on his channel all the time. None of us are on this to make money. <laughs> We're all on this to have fun and have a good time. Um, the, the, the whole point of my channel, the whole goal of my channel has simply been just to make friends. Um, make friends and learn new things. Um, and I think I'm doing that, a great job at that, and that's kind of how I focus all my projects and my energies, is trying to learn new things or better new, better skills, um, and, and just, you know, to share with you guys, to have a great time and, and, and just kind of be with my friends, be with my homies. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm so glad that you're here. He's leaving on the 20th. Okay. 
Oh, Martha, I'm sorry to hear that it was a tough semester for her, for your daughter, for your kid. I'm sorry to hear that. Kathy says her sampler block is now done. Yeah, I saw pictures of it. Uh, Kathy, I, I'm sorry I have not been able to catch your live stream in the last, I don't know, week or so. Uh, but I did see on your Facebook page that you guys had finished it. I don't know if it was you or if it was Sandra that had posted pictures of it. It is absolutely amazing. I love all those blocks. So much fun. I did get a couple of sub subscribers sent me um, the pattern for the sewing machine block. I do have that here. I have to cut the I have to pick up my fabrics and cut them up and then we'll make that on a live stream here on the channel um, probably after the new year. I don't think I'm going to be able to have time to do it before the end of this one. Oh, so Terry says that she's a senior this year. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I've got it all sliced up where we're ready to go. Now let's pull the paper off real quick. You guys have seen me do this a million times before. Basically, I just peel the paper back and I fold it right on the sewing line. I run my nail over that thread really hard. And then I just pull it apart. Oh, everybody say good morning to Angel. She's, she's been a pain all morning. A complete pain all morning. Good morning, Angel. How can I help you? Would you like to leave? I know Taylor's not in here. She's in another room. Here. You want to go see Taylor? Here. Where are you going? No, the, the door's this way. It's this way. Yeah, you've been really... I, I don't know what's wrong with you lately. Come on. Okay, there you go. In or out. Pick one, please. Angel, she's like half in the door, half out the door. It's like she can't decide what she wants to do. I, I don't, I mean, we've all known that she's not well, but I don't, I don't think she's, I think she's really not well. Well, then, you know, there we go. She'll be knocking on the door in a minute. Well, I mean, she's 19, so I mean, it's, <laughs> she's bound to have some issues, right? Oi, okay, sorry, what did I miss? Sandra says, Danny, make it a so long. I need to join. I, I will join you. Need another one. What were we talking about that was going to be so long? Okay, I guess I, I think I missed something, guys. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, the, the block. Okay, yes. No, I understand what you're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, the block. Yeah, maybe I will make it a so long. That could be fun. That could be really fun. Yes, Lucas says Angel wants the spotlight. Yes, she does. Yes, she likes the spotlight. She's been a real pain lately. I, th I just think she's having some struggles. Um, you know, she's 19 years old. Um, she's got some kidney issues, which we've known about for a long time. So we're just kind of letting her live out her days. But I, I suspect her days are shorter than we than we would like. Um, she's been doing, she's been having some really weird behaviors the last week or so, and that lends me to believe there's something else going on. I've been coming and hawing about taking her to the vet and have them check her out, but she gets really, really, really stressed out when she goes, and the last thing I want to do is stress her out, so. So we'll, we'll keep an eye, we'll be keeping an eye on her, uh, especially now that Taylor's home. Um, I'm, I'm going to kind of watch her mood and see if her mood changes at all now that Taylor's home. Because, you know, it is Taylor's cat, so. 
So let me just pull this paper off here, guys. This always takes a minute. I apologize for the dog barks in the background. Hold, please. This is starting my day today, guys. I'm telling you, it's like everything just, like I said, hell in a handbasket. <laughs> so, Angel was in the hallway meowing, so that upsets the dog. So then the dog starts barking, because we have one dog that's just protective of everyone and everything. Um, so that's why the dog was barking. <laughs> it's just been... Oh, anyway, so now Angel is back in here with me. I don't know what she wants. We'll have to wait and see. Did I miss anything exciting? Let's see. It looks like somebody started a heist, so that's exciting. That's always fun. We play. If you're new to the channel, we play a lot of games in chat, so make sure you get in there. Um, we're playing the heist game. We're playing the slots game. Ooh, look at your Sandra winning 3,000 thimbles. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, Marie. Real life. Exactly. Yeah, it is exactly that. Yeah, sometimes sometimes it just gets in the way. It can't always be fun in games, right? There's got to be a little bit of the reality in there, huh? And that is the wonderful world of streaming and live streams is that you get to see the real life and I can't exactly edit it out, so. Hey, <laughs> Martha. We who secretly rule the homes across the world, cats and dogs. Absolutely, yes, and I have both. Two cats and three dogs. And then, you know, we have five children. So the joke is, you know, we have five children, five girls, three dogs, two cats, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Terry says, I didn't want to be the one to start gambling on a Sunday morning, but to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> Apparently that's the theme for today. It's a hell in a handbasket, which, you know what, that's, I mean, you know, Akuna Matata. It really, it is, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's been, it's been a morning. It's been a morning. Yes, yeah, so and congrats to Sandra. Yep. Good morning, Vicky. I think I said good morning to you already, but if I'm not, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I saw there were a couple of Facebook requests in there. I'm sure Lucas will take care of those for us. If not, I will take care of them when I get off the stream later today. So what are you guys thinking of uh, that Vlogmas series? What do you guys think of it? It's been it's been a challenge. I, I I've had a lot of fun with it so far, and, and obviously I'm going to continue to do it through Christmas as much as like as best I can. Um, but what do you guys think of it? I mean, I know it's kind of repetitive because I'm basically doing the same thing every day. Um, it's this is my first one, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing, and I want to try to make sure that I keep the videos really short. Um, you know, one to two minute max. I think the longest one so far has been a three minutes. Oh, Lucas lost some of his thimbles. Too bad, Lucas. <laughs> Don says today's code word is Helena Handbasket. Absolutely. Yes, I wish I had a prize for that, but unfortunately I do not have any prizes today. No giveaways today. Um, we did a giveaway on one of the Vlogmas um, one of the Vlogmas videos. Congratulations to Chloe. I have not seen her pop in yet. She said she would try to be here later today. Um, she said she has some point, uh, some thimbles she wants to redeem for another fat quarter. So uh, we're, uh, just as a reminder, if you do have at least 10,000 thimbles in your account, you can redeem those for a random fat quarter. Might even be one of these new boutiques you've been seeing on Vlogmas. Um, I have a bunch of them from last year that I'm still going through. Um, I have some original ones. No, not uh, boutique ones, but regular ones that I've been 
going through as well. You just never know. And I will be doing at least one more giveaway in my Vlogmas videos, maybe two. Um, just depends on how things are going. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Marie says, I can hardly keep up with all the channels. I'm way behind. Oh, Marie, no worries. Uh, yeah, I am having a terrible time keeping up myself. I, I am apologizing to all my content creator friends because with um, my daytime job, I have been so busy these last couple of weeks because, you know, it's the end of the year for a manufacturer. I work for a manufacturing company. It's the end of the year, and it's always a crazy time of the year for all for everyone. Um, and then, you know, the holiday stuff on top of it, and then trying to do the vlogmas and in, uh, not making excuses, but I've been a terrible, terrible friend to all my other creators, and I have not had the opportunity to watch all of their videos. So I actually have the next two days off. Um, I have a couple of errands I have to run during the day, but otherwise I have the days off. And so that is what I'm going to be doing for the next two days, is trying to catch up on a lot of my friends' uh, channels. <laughs> yep. So apparently today's theme is all in a handbasket. This is, this is, <laughs> oh, Dawn, you are so funny. So funny. Uh, yes, agreed, Marie. Yeah, the 12 days of Quilt Mess has been a lot of fun. I've been trying to catch up on those. I think I'm on, I think I'm on day six. I think that's the one I caught was day six. So I have, I have a couple of catching up to do. Congrats, Sandra, on redeeming another notion. <laughs> uh, the good news is I haven't mailed you the first one, so I will get the second one out to you. Lucas, if you can include that in your notes for me so I don't forget, that would be great. But congratulations on redeeming that second notion. I will get that to you in the mail tomorrow. Um, I had some issues with... Um, I ran out of envelopes. My goodness. I ran out of envelopes, so I had to order more. So I will have that for you in the mail. Susan says, I practiced a bit yesterday on my long arm, and it's coming together pretty darn good. I learned a lot from some help with some friends. Oh, that's great, Susan. That's great. I didn't realize you had a long arm. That's super exciting. The April story is hilarious. Oh, well, I have to watch that one again. I, I think I might have missed that one. Oh, Sandra, no problem. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, I meant to get it out to you last week, and my the company I order my stuff from was supposed to send it to me on Tuesday. It was supposed to arrive on Tuesday, and then I checked the tracking, and they're like, oh, sorry, it's delayed. And then it's like, what is, is it ever going to show up? Sorry for the crying dog in the background. With Taylor being home, it's throwing, like, everything off right now. The, the entire house is, it is in uproar because everybody wants to spend time with everybody. <laughs> Got to be a mom for a second, you know. <laughs> uh. I did buy, so for you guys, so one of the reasons why I've been so adamant about trying to find a mic, a personal mic for you guys, so that you guys can hear me better, is so that you guys don't hear all this background noise. Because <laughs> right now I'm using the microphone that's on my webcam, and so that picks up all the outside noises. So I, d I did buy a new mic. Um... And in fact, I have it over here on the desk, I, but I have not tested it out yet. And I decided that trying to test it on a live stream was probably not the best idea. <laughs> so I want to get it tested out and then hopefully that will eliminate some of this background noises that you guys hear. I have a really, really teeny tiny little house. So there's not really anywhere for me to hide. And when, you know, normally Kevin, my husband, Kevin, he's um, normally he's in the garage working on his stuff. And so the dogs are usually kind of focused on him. But with Taylor being home, they're kind of focused on her, so it's just been crazy. Sandra says, thank you, Danny. I'm doing my Christmas shopping here. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, 
Oh, Marie says she's doing daily reports on the 12 days of quilt mess and she had one done also. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. I did subscribe to her channel, but I have not been able to catch a lot of her videos yet. So I'm going to have to check that out. Susan says, yes, I bought a Moxie from Handy Quilter back in March before I had even made my first quilt. Kind of like putting the cart in front of the horse. <laughs> wow, I'm jealous. I, I don't, I do not have a long arm, but then again, I really don't have a, the space for a long arm. Um, it's just not really something I have the space for right now. Speaking of long arm, I have two quilts that are coming back from my long arm this week. So that's exciting. I'm going to have to get the binding put onto those. At least one of them. Uh, one of them is for a Christmas gift. The other one is probably one that I wouldn't gonna I'm thinking about selling. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. <laughs> Terry. Yeah, you know what? It's everybody else's fault but mine, Terry. That's that's the way I roll. <laughs> But yes, yes it is. First it's Angel's fault, then it's Taylor's fault. Absolutely. It's everybody else's fault. <laughs> Susan says, I didn't have room either, but I just made it. <laughs> I made it fit. Well, there you go. Well, once um, the long-term plan is to make the other bedroom, my, my daughter Tony's bedroom, uh, my sewing room eventually. Obviously, there's there's no rush on that, but um, eventually that will be my full-time sewing room. This is just a kind of a temporary solution, um, but eventually that will be my my full-time space at some someday. No hurry, because that room is the bigger of the two bedrooms. And then, if I do set up in that room, there might be space for a long arm in there someday. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But a lot of a lot of things have to happen before then. Um, I'm, I need to replace all the flooring um, in this room and in that room. I mean, obviously, the kids have to move out. <laughs> I mean, they're at school, but they're not really moved out, you know. So this is the longest part of this process: um, sewing it onto the paper. Super simple. Cutting up the paper. Super simple. Pulling the paper off is even super simple. The ironing the pieces flat and then trimming off all the dog ears before we sew everything up together is the part that takes the absolute longest. Oh, so. <laughs> Lucas, is that a hint? No, Lucas, that is not a hint at all. No, that is not a hint. That is not a rush. That is not a hint. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would love my own sewing space. But that is not a hint. No. There's no rush. Plenty of time for that. What I've got right here works just fine for now. Taylor doesn't like it that much, but too bad. Too bad. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice Terry changed her uh, her ID name. Instead of it being so Terry, it's so very Terry. That's cute. I like that. That's very cute. So what is everybody working on? Uh, we know Dawn's working on the nine patch. We talked about that before. Uh, Sandra and Kathy just finished their sew sampler quilt, which is awesome, by the way. And uh, what's everybody else doing? Brenda, how's that um, cross stitch coming along? I think you, I think you, didn't you post a picture of it being finished on the Facebook group? I feel like I see, saw a picture of that, like it was being finished. It was beautiful. Oh, I only saw it. I only cut up half of a i trim up the other half. <laughs> All right. 
trimming up these blocks here. Painted rock face. That's cute. That is cute. Oh, congrats, Andrea. Oh, no, you lost 500. I'm sorry. I missed that. Well, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she, she just played this lots and lost 500 thimbles. I'm sorry about that. So sorry. Ooh, bowl cozies. Are those for Christmas gifts, Lucy? You know, I have yet to make those. Um, it's definitely something I'd like to try. Maybe we'll do that on a live stream next year. I really need to start making a list. Um, but yeah, I'd really like to try to try doing those. I think that would be a lot of fun. I know they make great gifts. I've seen a lot of people make gifts out of them. Terry says, I'm making a tablet sleeve for my beautiful granddaughter. I made her a sling bag and she loves it. It's Tula Pink, the Alice line. I forget the name. Curasaur, I believe. Oh, okay. And Marie says, I'm squaring up the quilt for one of my granddaughters and binding today. Then voila, another one done. Made the binding last night. That's awesome, Marie. Congratulations. And Terry, that sounds really cool. A tablet sleeve, huh? That sounds really neat. If you can, I'd love to to know more about that. Um, maybe that's another project we could do here on the channel. Uh, if you want to post pictures in our Facebook group, that would be great. <laughs> Sandra says, that's the way it goes. Somebody has to lose. Yeah, exactly, right? Yep, exactly. Oh, good morning, Teresa. Good morning. I didn't see you pop in there. Hello. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. It has been a bit of a mess here, but I, I think things have calmed down. I think. Of course, I say that now, and I've probably just jinxed it, but you know. Yes, thanks, Sandra, for throwing up Teresa's channel. Make sure you go over and give her a subscribe if you haven't already. And Angel is literally sitting underneath me, so I'm trying not to step on her as I'm slowly turning my chair. Yeah, Terry, I'd love to see what that looks like. Um, I'm always looking for new quick ideas that we can do here on the live streams. Um, next year, I want to focus a lot more on tutorials. Um, this year, we've done a lot of full-size quilts, and we're still going to do full-size projects on the channel, but I'd like to focus more on some tutorials, some smaller projects, um, you know, a weekend warrior type of thing, you know, th things that you can get done quickly and easily. So yeah, I'm, I'm always looking for new great ideas. If you guys have any ideas at all, I'm always looking for those. You can email me. My email address is always in the bottom of every, in the description of every video. Please feel free to email me, send me a message on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. Um, I'm always, always looking for new, new ideas. All right, so let's lay out this block real quick. I need to make two of these star blocks. So I've got the pieces cut up for one of them right for so far. We'll get that one going here. Let me lay those out. But yeah, I'm, I'm next year I want to focus a lot on my uh, tutorial stuff. Um, I want to learn some new techniques. Um, I want to focus on some paper piecing because I have a lot of fun with that. I'd really like to get a full-size paper piecing project going. So if you guys have any ones that you recommend for that, I'd love to hear about them. Um, so this next couple of uh, days or a week or so, I'm trying to actually come up with a plan for next year. Um, this year, I've just kind of, I, I've kind of won it. <laughs> It's like every week I'm like, what am I going to do today? <laughs> but next year I'd, I'd like to have a little bit more of a plan. <laughs> then, then maybe I won't be quite so stressed out about it. Um, if I have a better idea of what I'm doing. So. Ah, Okay. Terry says, it's pretty easy, but of course, being so very Terry, I'm quilting on, on a vintage singer. That's where the very comes from. Oh, that's really cool. 
Brenda says, I am cutting and testing my Tropic, but had to pull some Focus fabric. Oh, fun. For those of you who aren't familiar, the Tropics pattern that Brenda refers to is the one of the other full-size projects that we've been working on the channel. In fact, I think we did a video last week on it. Um, we're doing um, Flower House is the fabric line that we're using. But Brenda is doing these beautiful blue fabrics, just very similar to what this is, is and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the first video we had, she's doing a sew along with us. She's sewing it along with us. The first video, unfortunately, she made some cutting errors, and she had to uh, to fix those. So good luck to you, Brenda. I hope that you're able to get those uh, fixed back up together. Lucy asked Teresa if her quilt miss is tonight. Teresa does live streams on her channel on Sunday afternoons, um, after mine, not immediately after mine, but later in the afternoon. Um, I can never remember the time frame. I just, YouTube tells me when it comes on. It's, I, I want to say it's 3 Eastern. It's either 3 or 5 Eastern. I can't remember. I'm terrible at this. You guys know this. You have to remind me every time. Every single time. I really need to write it down. Um, one of these days. So, all right. So, let me start making these here. Let me start sewing these up together. Angel. Okay. This has to go now. <laughs> it's, it's falling off. It has to go. <laughs> I tried. I really tried. Oh, I have no fabric. No thread. Where is the thread here? Apparently my machine came unthreaded, so let me do that real quick. And I am down to the wire on my bobbin thread. Just lay down. There we go. I don't have a lot there, but I have some. So let's see what we can do there. Susan says, same here, Danny. My computer reminds me. <laughs> yeah, my phone does that. Yeah, it sends me notifications. I have all my notifications on for all my, my um, creator friends so that I know when they're going on their channels. Um, it's a reminder for you guys to make sure you turn notifications on for yourself as well so that you are also notified when new videos and new live streams go post to the channels. Teresa, my live is 2 p.m. Pacific, and my quiltness is 3.30 p.m. Pacific time today. Oh, wow, exciting. Dawn says, sorry, I heard Danny call out for whatever everyone is working on. I am multitasking, but I'm doing an EPP, the stuff behind me in Sean's live. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yes, for those of you who missed it, Dawn was on Sean's channel yesterday on her, his live stream, and his brekkie in the morning with Sean. Um super fun they were doing some fun projects over there make sure you check them out you can catch that uh, replay on his channel and then sean is also doing a daily unboxing of his batik fat quarters from cotton cuts on martha's channel so it's been fun watching him um open watching them open those because he and i have the same box and, but we're not opening the same fabrics at the same times, which has been kind of neat. It's been kind of neat to watch that. So, uh, yeah. Let me cut this it's been neat to watch that. So uh, that's a reminder for you guys to check out uh, Dawn's channels and Sean's channels. I Sean was here earlier this morning. I thought maybe not. Maybe I was seeing things. Um, I thought he popped in. It might. It might have been. Um, it might have been my premiere on Thursday that I saw him. But he usually tries to pop in and say hello. If not, I know he definitely catches the replays later. So 
Morning, Sean. <laughs> if you catch the replay later. Which is what I plan to do with him and his and Dawn's uh, live stream. I plan to catch that later. Good morning, Patty. I see somebody said good morning to you. I don't I don't remember seeing you come pop in, but good morning. If I miss you, good morning. June says I'm doing laundry. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, June. Sunday's our laundry day. Uh, my husband started a load this morning before he left the house. I will try and pick that up after the live stream here. He and I try and share that duty as much as we can. Well, we try and share all the chores as much as we can, if I'm honest. Oh, <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Tracy. She says, oh my, I'm so missing out right now. I forgot it's Sunday. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. You're not missing much. It's okay. We're just, we're just hanging out. I'm working on my paper piecing project here. Um, the um, Miss Rosie uh, Quill Company paper. Just making some star blocks. Okay, he says, good morning, Danny, doing laundry while I listen. Oh, absolutely. We appreciate that. Thank you. No worries. No worries at all. Good morning to you. Happy Sunday morning. Um, somebody, and I don't, forgive me, I think it might have been uh, Dawn, might have mentioned that it's like 50 degrees over by her. And, you know, Dawn, I got to tell you, if that's really true, that it's 50 degrees by you, I'm jealous because it's only 30 here. It's a little chilly here. Why do I feel like I'm missing a row of pieces? Well, maybe not. Teresa says, I'm sitting here having my coffee. Yummy. Yum. I used to I used to be an avid coffee drinker. I had to have at least one cup of coffee a day. Um, and then I decided that I was drinking way too much caffeine, so I cut out all of my coffee. It was it was a challenge for a little while. I had those horrible caffeine headaches for a while. Withdrawal headaches, I think they call them. Um, gosh, for a couple of weeks, it was awful. Um, but now I'm exclusively a water drinker. Um, but I do drink a flavored water. Um, I'm not affiliated, but I do use a circle. Uh, C-I-R-K-U-L. You guys see my bottle over here? Oh, you guys can't see it today. Uh, my bottle over here. It has a flavor cartridge in the top here that has some all-natural flavorings. There's no artificial flavors or, or sweeteners or anything. It has all-natural flavoring in here, and it flavors the water very, very lightly. Um, so it gives it a little bit of a little bit of flavor other than just plain water, and that is what I drink now exclusively. The only time I will drink anything else is usually when we're out to dinner. And if it's not a cocktail, <laughs> it's a little bit of soda or uh, lemon water. But let's face it, it's usually a cocktail. <laughs> but I love the smell of coffee and I do uh, drink the occasional cup of coffee. But not, not like I used to. This needs to be spun around, I think. I feel like this is wrong. This one is wrong. Okay, it got spun around. There we go. 
Bottom piece got spun around somehow. Couldn't figure out the orientation. Had to look at it there for a second. There we go. Marie says, yes, Danny, freaking 34 degrees in Wisconsin. Burr cold. <laughs> Dawn says it's been rainy and damp by her. She had to turn the heat on to burn the cold out of the house. Yeah, so, I mean, we've had our we've had our furnace on since October because it, it's been in the a steady stream of the 30s and 40s here for a while. Tracy said, I had my first accumulation of snow today. Ooh, Tracy, how much snow did you end up with? We, we had an accumulation... Uh, like a couple weeks ago, we had about an inch. It didn't last for very long, and it really didn't stick to the ground very well. Um, <coughs> it only lasted less than 24 hours, and then it melted away. But yeah, we had our first accumulation a couple weeks ago. June says it's 25 and cold by her right now. Terry says 40 here and raining. Yeah, it rained most of the day yesterday, the last couple of days. Teresa says it's snowing by her. Terry says she posted the sling bag only she's not finished with the sleeve. Oh, no, Terry, that's fine. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Like I said, I love seeing what you guys are working on because it gives me ideas on, on inspire inspirations. And next year, I want to do more collabs. Um, so I'm going to get a, a Zoom membership, and I'd like to do more collabs. So if I pick one of your – so if you guys post um, – you know, pictures of the projects you're working on. Um, I might reach out to you and see if you're interested in, in coming on as a, a guest and helping us all learn how to make it. So, obviously, you don't have to if you don't want to. That's obviously not a requirement. Um, but that might be something that we uh, we do on the channel next year. I'm, I'm trying to gonna I'm gonna try to do at least one collab a month next year where I invite either another content creator or a subscriber to the channel. Um, in fact, one of the other prizes that I'm going to be putting on the channel, which I haven't done yet, but one of the other prizes that will be up on the channel that you can redeem with your thimbles will be a special guest appearance on the channel. So you'll be the special guest on one of our live streams, which will be a lot of fun. Ugh. Oh, sorry. I missed a couple things here. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Tracy says, last week it was 78 degrees. Heat's on then. Off. Windows open. Yep. Yeah. Teresa, we, or, uh, Tracy, we have our thermostat. We have one of those smart ones. Um, it's a digital one. And so what we do is we have it set up so that we have sensors on all of our doors and windows so that if it if it notices that any of our backsliding glass door is the one we use. But if we open our backsliding glass door and we leave it open for more than five minutes... Or, I'm sorry, more than 10 minutes, then the furnace automatically shuts itself off. And so we don't have to worry about turning it on and off. So whenever the weather's really nice, we'll open that backsliding glass door because we have the, the nice uh, screen there. And as soon as that goes open, the furnace shuts off and then we don't have to worry about it. But yeah, I, I totally agree with you. If it's nice outside, if it's more than 70 degrees outside, we try and open the windows if we can. Open the windows, open the doors. Mm -hmm. Tracy says, just an inch so far... As far as I can tell, haven't ventured outside. <laughs> oh, there might be a special guest at the door. Does the special guest want to come in or just wants to talk to me? Oh, everyone, welcome my daughter, Taylor. Taylor, say hello to everybody. Hello. Yes, um, ma'am. I was going to go to Duncan and then go to Grandma's. Okay. Do you need anything from Duncan? I do not. No. But on your way back, can you stop and get me a Pepsi, please? From 7? Yes, please. Sure. Thank you very much. Say goodbye. Big one? Yes, please. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. I suspect there'll be more uh, like that in the next few days. <laughs> Tracy says, Taylor, Tracy says hi. Mom? Tracy says hi. Tracy. From Craft a Simple Life. Oh. Yes, it's Taylor's fault. It is absolutely Taylor's fault. Yes. <laughs> she probably knows it too. <laughs> I am having difficulty getting this one. There we go. 
It did not want to go in. I, I imagine we'll have uh, more interruptions in uh, next week's live stream because I, I no, because Tony won't be home next week, so it might be the the Christmas one. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Everybody say hi, Taylor. Bye, Taylor. Oh, she, she didn't stay long. She didn't stay long. I tried to get her to come on and, and do a project with us, but she's she's got a lot of errands to run today, so she didn't want to. But maybe I can convince one or more of the girls to, to make an appearance on a live stream before they go back to school. I thought that could be fun. We can, They could make something fun, or at least start to. Uh, Tony is the one, Tony, my other daughter Tony is the one that really likes the sewing stuff, but she's more an apparel sewing person. She's not really a quilt sewing person, although I think she would enjoy it if she gave it a try. I'm trying to convince her to bring, she's got, she has her own sewing machine. She's a singer. Um, and I keep trying to convince her to bring it to school with her. Lord knows I have enough fabric I could give her. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll convince her. Oh, right, guys, this is taking us forever, guys. We're going to get, like, one block done on this stream today. My goodness, it's taking forever today. But, the, you know, this has been the story of the day. It really has been. Um, I have not gotten much accomplished at all today. Uh-oh. What happened there? I lost YouTube for a second there. Oh, congrats, Sandra, on winning the thimbles there. Lots does appear to be the fastest way for you guys to earn thimbles besides watching the channel, obviously. <laughs> Sandra says, luck would be no snow. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Teresa. Teresa lost 100 thimbles. Marie, honey, do exclamation point slots, plural. That's with an S on the end. There you go. There you go. You figured it out. Yeah, sorry, Teresa. Oh, look, Marie lost two. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, you know. Slots is not paying out today. <laughs> Marie says, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, no, slots are not good today. Sometimes they're really great. Sometimes they're not. But they're a lot of fun. Linda says, dang, bot don't like me. You know, I he's finicky today. He's very finicky today. <laughs> All right, guys, here is our block, finally. There you go. Ta-da. I got to make another one of these. Might as well get started. We're probably going to run the stream till about 1 o'clock today. Usually we end about 12.30. But since I had a late start this morning, I started at 11 instead of 10.30. I'll probably run it until 1 today. So hopefully we'll get one more of these blocks done. I'm really just taking my time on it. I'm not really rushing. So it's taking a little bit to get them done. Ah, Lucas says... They're not really paying out because he added the crossbones as a complete loss. So if you get the crossbones, then you don't win. 
That's cool. Well, that makes it more fun, Lucas. You, they, you don't want to win all the time. All right, so let's make one more of these. But yeah, we'll probably run till about one o'clock. If you guys got to cut out early, I understand. And then after this, I have to record this week's video because I am caught up on all my videos. I don't have another one recorded yet. We're going to be doing clue five, I think, of our Piazza. I don't know, it feels like it's been forever since we've done a Cotton Cuts video. And it really has. So I just posted a Cotton Cuts video on the channel like two streams ago. Two videos ago? One video ago? I'm not sure now. It's like a video or so ago. Two videos ago. I posted a uh, Cotton Cuts. But I had actually recorded that video two weeks before that. So it's actually been a month since I've worked on a Cotton Cuts project. Um, but we're not... I have officially decided we are not uh, joining the Village Green um, Cotton Cuts this time around. I want to focus a little bit more on our Block Party videos. I, I'm having a lot of fun with those. I'm really learning a lot about different techniques. And so I want to kind of try to do two of those a month instead of just one. Because um, we were doing two cotton cuts, one uh, block party, and then one kind of miscellaneous whatever I could come up with. <laughs> um, so I think instead we're going to do two block party, one cotton cuts, and then again one miscellaneous of whatever I can come up with is what I think we're going to do at least for for the foreseeable future until the next cotton cuts project comes out and then we will probably join that one. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. Um, we still have Piazza. I mean Piazza is going to run for a little while. It'll run till... I think it's going to run till March or April. So we still have that one, which I'm loving the colors on that one. But this last one, I mean, nothing against cotton cuts. I mean, they do a fantastic job. I just really wasn't inspired by any of the colorways this time. Uh, the purple one is really pretty. Don't get me wrong. Um, I just kind of wanted to focus on, I wanted to take a little bit of a break. So I'm going to skip Village Green and I'll probably do the next one after that. Um, and I have a family member that has um, asked me if to let them know the next one I do because they think they want to join in. So that could be a lot of fun. But if you are joining Village Green, I'd love to know what colorway you have selected. And I'd love to uh, live vicariously through you if you wanted to post pictures of your clues each month in our Facebook group and on our Instagram so that I can I can live vicariously through you and, and watch them. That would be great. I can I mean I can always join it later. Um, I think they leave it open for a little while, a few months at least. So if I really change my mind, I can always join later. But I, I think right now I'm going to take a little bit of a break. We've got a couple of other big projects we're working on anyway. We've got our mix and match. We've got our tropics. So, Oh, looks like somebody started another heist. That's really exciting. Do we have any newcomers in the channel right now? I'd love to uh, chat. With, I mean, obviously, I love chatting with everybody, but if there's any newcomers to the channel, please make sure you introduce yourself, say hello. We'd love to know you're here, that you've joined us. We just received a new subscriber today. That's what put us over to the 350, so that's really exciting. Welcome to that new subscriber. <laughs> so Terry wants to know if somebody can lend them some thimbles. Uh, actually, Terry, you can um, give thimbles away. Someone can give you thimbles. I think if you do exclamation point give and then space, and I think it's the username 
and then the number. Uh, Lucas can confirm that. It's either the number and the username or the username and the number. But yeah, you can give them away. I'm sure Lucas could give some of his away. Marie says, I'm doing Village Green. I was able to get the Dahlia, the Tulip Pink Fabrics Moon Garden. I'm excited about it. I don't normally use Tulip Pink. Yeah, Marie, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, that's... Is that the one with the owls? Is that the Tulip Pink? Or is it the one with the skulls? I can't remember. I don't have the names of them. I just have the card here. I mean, don't get me wrong, and some of them are really pretty. Like, I, I like these ones on the back, these two blue ones on the back. Those are pretty. This one here with the gold in it, that one's really pretty, too. I just... And this red one was pretty, too. I just... I, I'm just not... I don't know. I'm just not... I was not feeling that inspired. And I don't want to force it. So, it didn't feel natural to me to... It didn't get me excited about it. So, I decided, mm, I think I'm just going to skip this one and uh, wait it out. Oh, congratulations, Terry. Terry won the heist. Congrats to you. Yes, no owls and bees. No owls and bees. Oh, are you saying it is the one with the owls and the bees? I think it's I think it's this one here. Which I mean obviously I'm not gonna be able to show you guys that on camera, but it's this one right here. I think is that I think that's the Dahlia. Well you can always go to cottoncuts.com and check it out. Um I think the yeah, the first clue ships in February. So that'll that'll be exciting for you guys. I can't wait to see what you guys make with those. Um you guys know I love cotton cuts. I love the I love their products products. They're awesome. I just, I've made the last, I'm on the third one that I've made. Um, so I just, I just needed a little bit of a break. That's all. Wanted to try out some other stuff. I still have a Christmas table runner that I want to get to, hopefully before Christmas. We'll have to wait and see if that pans out. Um, in fact, I forget whose channel it was on though. I want to say it was on Dawn's channel. Their Dawn or Martha's channel, one of them made a uh, quick table runner that looked really simple and easy, and I thought it would look great with the fabric that I have here. So I'm gonna, it's a fat quarter project, so I think it would work really well with the, the fat quarters I have for Christmas. So I'm gonna give that a try. Good morning, Mona. Thank you so much for joining us. Marie says it sold out quickly. She says it sold out quickly. I chose it because that one also had all the different fabric from the line and some of the others had repeated fabric. Oh, okay. Good, good idea. Yeah. Yes, the owls and the bees. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah. Good morning, Mona. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you again for the shout out on your channel a couple weeks ago or a week ago or a couple days ago. Thank you again for that. A different creativity. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I want to, um, maybe it was Martha. It might have been Martha. Yeah, I'm going to have to look through it again. Forget which one it was. Sounds like somebody's home. Marie says, I thought it would be less confusing to put it together if they were all different. Yeah. Oh, you know what, Marie? I Have you ever done a cotton cut before? If you've never done one before, I can understand that. But I honestly, as long as you keep your color chart, which is like the number one rule of cotton cuts, the PMQs, keep your color chart. Don't lose it. Um, and as long as you keep it, it's actually pretty easy to figure out what fabrics. Because I had... So when you see a repeating fabric like that, the repeating fabric is usually the binding. 
Now on these, and, and I could be wrong on this, so Becca explains it better than I do, but on these charts, the bottom piece of fabric, the very, very bottom piece, I think, is your binding, okay? And then the other pieces of fabric are your pieces in your colorway, and I think the one at the top is the one that's used the most often. I could be wrong on that. Like I said, Becca usually um, explains it better, but usually it's the fabric that's at the top is the one that is used the most often. And I know the one down at the bottom here is your uh, binding fabric. So when you see a, a, a duplicate like this one here, which again, you, I know you guys can't see it, but it's like this orange one here, the two orange pieces, there's two oranges that are duplicated. Um, I, one of those is gonna be for the binding and then one of those is actually gonna be for inside the project. So um, I, I'm like this one here has two purples that are shown. Same thing. It's, you know, it's a really popular one and then the binding. So I understand what you're saying with duplicating the fabrics. And you're, you're right. All of these colorways have at least one fabric that's been duplicated. Yeah, all of them do. Except for this gold one here and the tulip pink. But yeah, I, I mean, I can understand that. But it, it is really easy actually to um, identify what pieces are, or are for which one to for which piece as long as you keep your colorway as long as you keep the, the colorway that they send you sounds like my husband might be home there's lots of noises going on in the background unless Taylor came home Yeah, you don't need binding fabric, Fabric, you'll need backing fabric though, Marie. Yeah, I mean, of course you'll need binding fabric if you decide to add extra borders to it, which Cotton Cuts does offer the extra border kits, um, or at least they did the last time. I don't know if they're doing it with the Village Green or not, but they were offering extra border kits to make your quilts bigger so that they would fit like your standard queen or king size bed. But yeah, the only thing that you need to buy for those for the for Cotton Cuts PMQ is the background fabric. And they will give you the opportunity to purchase the background fabric for your um, colorway towards the end of the project. Um, they'll they'll send you a let, they'll send you an email and say, hey, you know, now we have the background fabrics available, and then you can go and see if they have it. Now the only bad part about that is sometimes you don't get the background that you want because it's sold out. Um, so if you really have your heart set on a specific type of background, then it's probably better to buy it ahead of time, but they won't give you, they usually don't give you the final sizes for the background until late in the project. Um, but I mean, you can always take a guess, you know, like they say the, the large is a 72 by 72 and the small is a 56 by it's not listed here, but it's like a 48 by 56 or something. Um, so if they give you the sizes of the, the large and the small sizes, then you can make a guess. But usually they don't give you those final things until late in the in the project. But I'm excited for you. Is this? I assume this is your first one? It'll be a lot of fun. Tracy says, I've not bit the bullet and done one of the craft projects. And, and Tracy, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you don't you don't have to. They are a lot of fun though. I, I have had a lot of a lot of fun with them. And I love the fact that everything is already pre-cut. It's already pre-cut. You don't have to do anything. Ah, uh, okay. So you did buy the border kit. Now, if you bought the border kit, they will usually give you extra fabric with the border kit for the back for the binding um they they did that with the last one with the um so sweet if you had bought one of the extra border kits then they gave you extra binding fabric as well but you don't have to use it you can always use the binding fabric for something they don't cut it i mean it's just it's just a piece of yardage that you have to cut for the binding um <coughs> so you can always use it for another project another time but the project does include uh fabric for the binding Tracy says, wow, I won. Woot, woot. Congratulations, Tracy. Yeah, you, it looks like you won 750 thimbles on the slots, so congrats from that. Marie says, yes, my first, but I did not do kits from other... Yep. 
just not pre-cuts. Yeah, Marie, uh, the con cuts one works a little bit differently than others. Now, I've never done any other ones, so, or at least I'm told it works a little bit differently than others. Um, you know, it's important to remember that it's a puzzle, so you, the pieces that you're making are not going to be in any semblance of an order. <laughs> Um, and then when you get to the final reveal, it's like you're going to be putting some of these pieces with some of those pieces and some of these pieces with some of these pieces. So it's important to remember that. So you're not going to have any idea what the final uh, quilt is going to look like, which which for your first one can be a little stressful. Um, I understand that. I, I had a hard time with it at first myself. But I promise you it's well worth it. And I'm really excited for you that this is your first one. That's exciting. Yes, a lot of winners, Lucas. Yeah, a lot of winners. No, no. I mean, you know, it's not a bad thing to have extra fabric. Trust me. I know. <laughs> I have lots of extra fabric that we're going to be going through this year. But I'm excited for you, Marie. That's a lot of fun. Make sure you uh, post pictures in our Facebook and our Instagram so I can follow along with you. It is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I love that. So if you do the small one, it'll take you about 30 to 40 minutes to put the part, the, the clue together. Um, depending on, I mean, obviously how quick you go and if you have any struggles. But, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes for the small and the large takes about 45 minutes, 45 to 60 minutes, but it's only once a month. Um, they come in these really cool, let me show you. They come in these, this is, this is my Vitario. It comes like this in this cute little envelope. Um, it's pretty thin. And all the pieces are already laid out for you. They're not marked, but they're laid out for you. Um, and then they, they give you really, really nice instructions um, on how to put it together very simple to use every once in a while they have a little bit of a typo but you know make sure you follow their facebook group um because their facebook group they do a great job of as soon as they find a typo or an error or an issue they uh they post it up there really fast so make sure you um sign up for their facebook group now the only bad part about their facebook group is a lot of people if you're not quick with your clues a lot of people post pictures of what they look like so I try not to pay too much attention to the pictures. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, definitely join that. You're going big. Yep, yeah, I do too. The last, um, the last three I have made were large ones. Um, and, and I'm sure, like you said, you've seen that me make them on the channel. So you've seen how big those are. And those are without the additional borders. Those are with whatever the original borders come with. I think they all measured out to be 72 by 72. So, in fact, the So Sweet is coming back from the long arm. I have to go pick that up tomorrow. But make sure that you mark your pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. I take a post-it note and I fold it in four. Um, and then I take a, a, I write down the clue number and how many pieces I made. Um, and then I use a safety pin and I safety pin it to the clue pieces and then I keep all my pieces together in a, either in a gallon size Ziploc, it totally fits, you can just fold them up, put them in a gallon size Ziploc or in a, one of these plastic bins that you guys see down here. I have one of those actually up there that I put my um, clues in, just keep them all together. <clears throat> they don't, don't have to be super organized but you do want to make sure you mark them because otherwise you will have a hard time figuring out what is what. Um, some people print up labels on their printer. You can use a, la a sticky label if you want to. I just use a post-it note and a safety pin. It works just fine. Um, <coughs> that seems to work the best for me. I'm sorry, I like something caught in my throat right now. And I know I've said it before on my channel, but I do not trim any of the pieces. Once I sew them up together, if it doesn't match the exact size that it says it's supposed to I don't worry about it I don't stress about it I wait until I get the whole thing when the whole thing is done and I go to put the pieces all together and that's when I do my trimming um, because then that way some pieces might shift a little bit when you're sewing them things like that depending on how great you are with your quarter inch seam 
Um, and, you know, things like that. I think I saw Chloe pop in there. Good morning, Chloe. Hi, good morning. Welcome. She says she's getting a Christmas tree. Ooh, that's fun. I assume that means you're getting a, a real Christmas tree. Big evergreen. Those are exciting. Um, I am allergic to evergreens, so I unfortunately cannot have one. Uh, my sister is also allergic to evergreens. She had uh, very strong allergies to them when we were kids, so we didn't we didn't have a real Christmas tree growing up either, which is okay. Because now as I'm an adult, it turns out I'm allergic to them as well. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> but they do look beautiful, and I'm always jealous of anybody that has them. But hi, good morning. But yeah, Marie, I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited for any of our subscribers or, or um, watchers of the channel that uh, are going to join, are going to start the Village Green for their first one. I, I'm sorry that I'm not going to be there with you. But hopefully you guys will post pictures for me and I'll be able to keep an eye on them for you. Or be able to watch as you uh, as you go through. We're still going to be working on Piazza, so I'm not worried about it. I think we're on clue four or five. I think it's five, because I think we just finished clue four. So I think that's clue five. There's ten clues total. No matter which size you choose, there's always ten clues. And this one will ship in, so Village Green will ship in February, so we'll probably be done with the... <clears throat> Okay, Marie, yeah, post it on our Instagram. Um, just go ahead and tag me in it so I can see it. That's the, um, just tag our channel. It's um, So Not An Expert YT. So then that way I can keep an eye on it for you. Vicki says, I put my sewing stuff away until after Christmas Day dinner. Lots to do. Oh, Vicki, we totally understand that, yeah. I am lucky enough that I now have a separate space. Last year, I did not have a separate space. Oh, no. Last year, I did have a separate space. It was the year before. The year before, I did not have a separate space for my sewing stuff. So I was with you. I'd have to put it all away um, and get all the Christmas stuff done, and then I could pull it back out after the first of the year. So I understand. Oh, good. I'm glad you followed me there already. Great. Good, good, good. And for those of you who don't, Make sure you go over to our Instagram and follow us there. I think if you do exclamation point Instagram or IG maybe. I don't remember what the link is now. I know if you do exclamation point links, it'll give you both our Facebook and our Instagram. You follow us there. Awesome. I'm really excited. I'm excited for you. Chloe, yeah, I think you need to you need to enter the item that you want to redeem. So do exclamation point prizes first to see what the code is, because I think you said you wanted to redeem a fat quarter, but I don't remember what the code is. So do exclamation point prizes first, and then that'll tell you what the code is. And then you're going to do exclamation point redeem, and then you're going to enter in the code. I want to say it's fat quarter in capital letters with my name on the end, but if not, I think Lucas can help you with that. Lucas, if you're still here, can you help? Chloe's trying to redeem the fat quarter. So do prizes first. That'll give you the command, and then you type the command in. So then I'll have Sandra redeemed a, a notion, and Chloe will be redeeming a, a fat quarter. <laughs> Sandra says, I put a Christmas project under the needle as part of decorating. There, that, I think that is my that is my decorations this year, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I like that. Oh, Marie, of course. I'm excited for all of our subscribers if they're joining, but but I especially like those that that's tried out to start with. Um, it, it's you know I remember how excited I was the first time that, with the first one that I did. Um, I think that was Olympia was the first one I did, and I remember how exciting that was, and and how excited I would get every time a new envelope would show up in the mail. It was just so exciting. So I'm, I'm always excited.
Thank you, Lucas. There you go, Chloe. I knew Lucas was, was there lurking. So close, look so close, Chloe. Gotta put my name on the end, hun. We had to put my name on the end of it because it was doing something weird. Yeah, so we had to put the name on the end of it. But I know what you're trying to do. In fact, I already have it picked out because you told me ahead of time. So I already have it picked out for you. I already got it lined up. I was just waiting for you to come in. There we go. That should take it. And that should redeem it. Sorry, it's a bit of a pain sometimes. There we go. There you go. And I redeemed it. Awesome. I'll have it in the mail to you tomorrow. But yes, congratulations to Chloe. She won the giveaway on our, our quilt miss. She won a Fat Corner Boutique. Which is over there. Um, I put it over there because I have to get the envelope ready. But yeah, she won our fat quarter, one of our fat quarter boutique fabrics for day nine, I think. So that was exciting. And now she's just redeemed as part of her thimbles prize another fat quarter that I'm gonna mail to her. And I've already picked it out. I'm not gonna show her what it is because there's that's no fun. But I've already picked it out for her because she had sent me an email and let me know about it. Uh, so I already picked out that. So I will have that in the mail for you tomorrow. And then Sandra's got two notions coming her way <coughs> as her, part of her prizes. And then I will have, hopefully by the next stream, I will have a random pattern um, as a prize. I will have a special guest as a prize after the first of the year. And then um, I will also, I have one more prize that I'm going to put on there that I'm not going to tell you guys about just yet, but it's a big one. And it's going to take a lot of thimbles, a lot of thimbles to do that one. Yes, uh, Lucas, I already have Chloe's uh, mailing address, but that would definitely be the next step normally. Yeah, but in this case, she doesn't need to, to send it to me because I actually have it. She had told me about it. Oh, good. I'm glad you love surprises. Good, because... I like surprises. I like giving surprises. I don't like I don't like getting surprises because I'm, I'm one of those people that you know I'm not a big fan of surprises, but they're also fun. But they can be fun though too. Yeah. So reminder to all of you who are uh, collecting thimbles, you know, especially Lucas, eighty four thousand thimbles. That's ridiculous. My goodness. Uh, you can turn those in for prizes at any point in time. You can claim up to one prize per stream. Um, you can do a fat quarter. You can do a random notion. Like I said, I'm going to be adding a pattern in there and I'm because I have a bunch of patterns that I've been receiving. And I'm going to be adding a special guest one in there. That I was just talking about that earlier in the stream next year. I'm not going to be doing that this year, but I'm going to be adding that next year. And then I have one more that I'm going to add in there that's going to be a lot of thimbles. <laughs> yeah, 84,000 thimbles, Lucas. My goodness. It's just crazy. My goodness. Give them away. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Those are all laying flat. <laughs> Sandra says she's waiting for Lucas to break the 100,000 mark. Tracy says, yeah, Lucas, stop hoarding the thimbles. There are plenty of thimbles to go around. There's no limit. <laughs> but yeah. Well, I mean, and he was testing out the a lot of the games, so he kept winning.
That's okay, guys. I always crack myself up when I'm um, when I do the uh, premieres for our videos. I do the premieres and I'll play the heist game, and it always cracks me up that I have thimbles. <laughs> it always cracks me up that, that, that I have any. So, uh, yeah. So I try to give them away. Well, Chloe, you might want to make that a goal of getting that 100000 because that is one of the numbers for one of the prizes that I'm going to be putting up there. Um, one of the prizes that's, that I'm putting up there here soon is going to have that 100000 mark. So, Who knows? Maybe Lucas will just want to redeem his point and redeem his thimbles for that prize. Who knows? Oh, no problem, June. Thanks so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully we'll see you again next week. Thank you so much for joining us. I know it's been kind of a, a little bit of a chaos, this one today. Really has not been that well organized, but <laughs> it's the story of my life this week. <laughs> Just remember, hell in a handbasket. <laughs> Right. Just trimming off the dog ears on these triangle, these half square triangles, and then we can sew up one more of these stars. I have to tell you guys, I'm really liking these paper piecing projects, especially if I hope you guys were able to check out. I'm pointing to you with my scissors. <laughs> I hope you guys were able to check out our last video for um, Midnight Dream. That block is so gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it's so pretty I love the fabric colors I didn't think I was gonna like them but I it turns out I really liked really really liked them they looked amazing and um the paper piecing projects oh my goodness I had no idea that they took so much longer to put together I don't know why they take so much longer but they do they take so much longer to put together than a traditional block does um I don't know if it's just because there's the trimming involved or what but it took it took me, well, I mean, I was recording it, so there was there was that aspect of it, too, but it probably took me <sighs> probably 45 minutes to do that one block. It was it was just absolutely crazy. Now, again, I was recording, so, you know, I had to keep changing the camera angles and, and things like that, so there was there's that as well, and I'm sure that, you know, those of you who are better at paper piecing, foundation paper piecing, are probably faster at it, but my goodness, I could not believe how long it took me. I, I mean, it was probably more than 45 minutes because I think I had an hour's worth of footage for that video. So it took me at least an hour to put that block together. That one block. I mean, it was just, it was unbelievable how long it takes. But it's gorgeous. So I don't know if you guys have gotten a chance to go check that out yet. If you haven't, make sure you go do that after the live stream. Um, it was amazing. It was so much fun. Let's <laughs> see, give some back, yeah. Yes, Chloe, Midnight Dream is so gorgeous. I, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. In fact, one of the other things, one of the other improvements I'm making to this room, um, besides my beautiful panel here that you guys have seen, and I said I'm going to make the, the one block the, to put back here. You guys can't even see my hand. Back here, I'm going to put a block. Um, one of the other things that I have is I bought some clips, um, some sticky tape binder clips to put some things here. I'm going to move my rulers down further so that I have a block sitting right here of whatever we're working on. Because, you know, normally I, I hang things here w for you guys anyway, but I'm going to put a block here. So that's going to be another addition that I want to make. Um, I can't really put anything on the curtains here because it just doesn't work out very well because of the way they're they're um, they're folded. But I'm thinking of putting more things on along this back wall here. So that'll be a lot of fun. So I've got these binder clips that have command strips on them which is really cool. So that way they'll, uh, they'll go nicely here and I can clip things to them. So I'm hoping they work out real well. Oh, what was that? <coughs> Excuse me. I believe that was a new subscriber. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on so I couldn't see who that was. But thank you so much uh, for subscribing to the channel. Welcome. 
Um, we do have the subscriber mode on on the chat, so you do have to wait five minutes after subscribing before you can join chat. And that's just to kind of get rid of all those bots. But welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. PFMQ. PFMQ. I think that's the name of the, the subscriber. Thank you so much for joining. Marie says, wow, Tracy, it would probably take me two hours per block, lol. Oh, I bet. Lucy said she's going to get going. Oh, no problem, Lucy. I appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate that. Tracy says it took her an average of an hour for each of her It's So Emma 12-inch pineapple blocks. Oh, geez, Tracy, I'm glad you told me that because I actually have that paper. You guys can't see it, but mm, on top of this cabinet underneath my book here is that paper. So I'm glad you told me that. <laughs> John says, Lucas, do you not want a fat quarter? You could pick eight right now and it could make you something nice. Too funny. Yes, it takes a lot of time. A lot. The paper piecing takes forever. Yes. Welcome to our new subscriber. I look forward to hearing from you soon. And for those of you not, that are watching who are not already subscribed, please consider doing so. We're trying to make 500. Oh gosh, I can't even tell you where my thing is right now. We're trying to make 500 subscribers by our one year anniversary, which is the end of January. I have a special stream that I'm scheduled that I'm going to be scheduling for that day. Um, it is a Sunday, so it will start at our probably start at our normal Sunday time. Although I'm thinking of actually starting it a little bit earlier. So you guys keep an eye on the channel for that. But that is our one year anniversary on the channel, which is super exciting. <clears throat> Sorry, Marie, I think I missed something. What are you trying to try, try to start? <coughs> she says, I have to too, but haven't tried them yet. I'm not sure what you're trying. Oh, it looks like another heist is going. Marie says, I love command hooks. Oh, absolutely, Marie. Yeah, so my rulers are being held up on command hooks right now, but they don't last very long. Um, I've had them fall off before, so I have to keep an eye on them. But I bought, like, these little, they're like little teeny tiny binder clips, but they have command strips on them. They're so cool, so I'm really excited for them. Vicky says, on Amazon, she got a lined pair of pants under $10. Now her legs will be warm when she goes outside. Ooh, Vicky, that sounds wonderful. Super warm and comfy cozy. And that's a great price, too. Marie says, I have the paper for the pineapple block. Oh, okay. Well, Marie, we will get to that at some point on the channel. So when the time comes, you can join us. And if it takes us an hour to do one sheet, that means we'll be able to two. To do two, do two. Oh, my gosh, I can't speak today. <laughs> so I bought that paper specifically because it takes two and a half inch strips. And as you guys can see, I, I well, maybe you can't see them right now, but I have a ton of jelly rolls. I have a ton of them. I'm buying this one here. A ton of them. So I actually bought that paper specifically because it works with jelly rolls. Um, but I do need to buy another solid color jelly roll to go along with it. I just don't know what I'm going to get yet. Yeah, I bought that one specifically for that reason. So when we get there, you can you can work along with us. That'll be fun. This piece is wrong. This piece is wrong. It's this way. There we go. Just laying out my pieces here. So this paper that I'm using is the cupcake paper. It's kind of neat. It's kind of it's not something I've ever done before. Um, I got two different ones. I got this one, and then I got another one back here. Give me a minute, I'll find it. Let me pull off the chair. <laughs> this one, so the one I'm working with right now is recipe number two. And this one that I have in here is recipe number three. 
Yes, lots of strips, yep. This one is recipe number one. Now, recipe number one has a really big triangle and then four small triangles, and it makes blocks like this. I don't know if you guys can see this. So we've got this one here. This one actually makes three different blocks. And this one here. And then it makes this one, which it, I don't know, it, I don't like this block, it's just weird. That one's kind of a weird block, I'm not sure I like that one. And then I got one more of these. So that's what recipe number one makes. Um, and then I'm working on recipe number two. Now, at the time I didn't realize, well I guess I did kind of realize, that the recipes were different, I just didn't realize how different they were. So, so if this is something you guys are interested in, it. So getting it onto the paper is pretty quick and easy. The, the, I use the cupcake ones because they take uh, charm packs and I have a bunch of charm packs you guys can see here. So I use that one because it takes charm packs or five inch squares, whichever you prefer. Um, it's one print and one solid, basically. Um, so on this one it was actually just, I used two charm packs. On the one that we're doing now I use charm packs and yardage. I cut the yardage into five inch squares. But it's a lot of fun to do, it just takes a while, <laughs> especially this one because the, the pieces are so darn tiny. Um, I'm not a big fan of tiny pieces. My machine doesn't really like tiny pieces. It just doesn't work well with them. Um, but it's been a, it's a lot of fun to do. It just takes a while. Same thing with just traditional paper piecing. The block that we're talking about, that we were talking about Midnight Dream was a foundation paper piecing project that I did. I did, just did a video on it, so check back on the channel later for that, or check back on the channel after the stream to see what that one was about. That one was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It was nine blocks about this size that you had to make up, and then you sew those nine blocks together, and that gave you um, the paper that you wanted, which was awesome. It was really, really awesome. I had a lot of fun with it. There is a couple of things that I learned when I did that particular project and I shared those things with you in my video so make sure you check that out. I am not an expert at paper piecing by any means. Um, Sylvia is probably a better expert at it. She's not here today but she's, or at least I haven't seen her pop in, but she's a better expert at it. Make sure you check out her channel. She does a fantastic job with it. She actually makes her own patterns which is just unbelievable. Ah, so PFMQ is Pam. Hi, Pam. Good morning. Yes, I'm so glad that you were able to make a live stream as well. Congre thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for subscribing. And thank you for being patient while you waited for your time to come up so that you could join the chat. Um, unfortunately, we kind of got attacked by bots uh, a few weeks ago, so I had to turn on that that little feature. I don't like it, but it is, it is a necessary evil on YouTube. But welcome to the channel. Ah, okay. Tracy says when she did her pineapple block, she cut the strips with an angle, then flip flops, so she got the most out of her strip. Good call. Good idea. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to work on that. Um, Marie says, Vicki, do you know the name of the pants she'd like to get some? Those are those, um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, those are the, the pants that she was talking about on Amazon. They have a cashmere lining. Oh, that sounds warm and fuzzy. Oh, no, Nancy, it sounds like you lost some thimbles there, hon. I'm sorry about that. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Now it's working. Oh, Pam, she says she's moving. She said she put all of her sewing stuff away until she's finished moving. Well, I hope the move is for the better for you, Pam. Good luck with the move. I know moving in the wintertime is never fun. 
especially during the holidays because you feel guilty because you can't really decorate anything. Um, so I, I know how that feels. But congratulations on your move. If you're a member of our Facebook, or if you're a member of Facebook or Instagram, you can follow us over there as well. And that, and that way you can share pictures of your projects that you're working on once your move is over. We'd love to see them. We do live streams on Sunday mornings at 10, usually at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. Today we did one a little bit late because we usually have, I have breakfast with my kids, a virtual breakfast with my kids. The second Sunday of every month. So the second Sunday of every month we do our live streams at 11 instead of 10.30. We usually run till about 12.30. Um, but because of my breakfast, I ran a little late today, and so we're going to finish up this block here, and then we will end the stream. It'll be another few more minutes. Welcome. I've got a bunch of other content creator friends here in chat with me. Please make sure you go check out their channels as well if you haven't already. Lucas does a great job of throwing everybody's links there in chat. You can also do exclamation point creators. Or you can go back after the stream, you can go back to our channel page. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the channel page, I try to put all of my content creator friends in the um, subscribers, the, the recommended subscribers list at the bottom. Try and put them all there as well. Go check them all out. They are amazing. So much fun. <laughs> is there a time limit in between bets uh nancy if you're talking about the slots no there is not if you're talking about the heist game for the heist game there's a five minute cooldown period so so if you're talking about the slots no you could you could totally spam the chat with the slots if you wanted to um <coughs> there there is no time limit on those There's the creators. Thank you. Whoever did that. Yep. Dawn's. Yep. Good morning, Tracy. That's the second Tracy to the channel. The So Journey, Tracy. Good morning to you as well. We also have uh, Craft a Simple Life, Tracy, on the channel today, too. So that's two Tracys on the channel today. Good morning to you both. Thank you for so much for joining. We are just finishing up um, a block here. Stream is running a little late today because I started a little late. It's been it's been morning, really. So I'm glad you caught us. <laughs> yes, Marie, that is true. The slots are not being very nice today, so be careful with that. That is true. So Nancy, if you're going to play, just be, you know, enter at your own risk kind of thing because the slots are not being nice. They're not being kind today. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, just reminding everybody that those games are earning you thimbles, which you can turn in for prizes. There are currently two prizes up on the channel available, but there will be more here shortly. Especially after the first of the year, I've got a couple of really, really big ones that are going to go up there. I can't tell you what they are yet, but they'll be up there. Well, looks like Lucas did a little bit of fun stuff. He took that one emote out. So now everybody's going to win something, at least for this last few minutes of the stream. So if you wanted to win those thimbles, now's the time. He's nice like that. <laughs> he does fun things like that. I 
am surprised at it. I have not run out of bobbin yet. I only had like one layer of thread left on it. I was sure I was gonna run out. <coughs> Although the black's not done yet, so I might have just jinxed myself. Probably did, because that's how I roll. Let's see. Well, everybody's getting their slots in. There we go. <laughs> Get those points, get those thimbles up so you can earn those prizes. Uh, and just a reminder for you, if I do a premiere video during the week, because I usually do videos on Thursdays, <coughs> excuse me, if it's a premiere video, that means the bot is also working then. So if you guys can watch that video with me, you can play then as well. You can also redeem your prizes and, and you're also earning thimbles. So if it's a premiere, the bot is working. That means I'm in chat. It's working. Uh-oh, you broke the bot? How did you break the bot? <laughs> did you break it? No, it's still working. You're spamming the chat, but that's all right. <laughs> if I miss something though, y'all are have to you'll have to let me know. You guys are having way too much fun. Too funny. Still got the thread. Still got thread. Oh, Max bet for. Slot, Lucas says the max bet for slots is three thousand dollar, three thousand thimbles. So that's the max amount that you can, you can risk. I thought it was lower than that, but maybe he upped it. No big deal. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> we broke it. Way to go. <laughs> Too funny. You guys are funny. Ah, okay. It's for three thousand. Okay. Look at you guys spamming that chat. <laughs> you got a few minutes left. I got two more rows. Two more rows to go. <laughs> Poor Pam. She has no idea what we're doing right now. Uh, Pam, so that you're aware, every, well, everybody else is playing, um, I have a game, a couple of games that run in, I have a program that actually runs in chat. It's called the Thimbles program. It's basically just a points program. You are earning points as you are watching the channel, and you also earn a little bit of extra points when you participate in chat. But then one of the other ways that you can earn even more points, or more Thimbles, is by playing some of the games that we have in chat. One of those games is the slot machine, which is currently what is blowing up the chat window right now. <laughs> um, so that is what's blowing up the channel right now is the slots game. We also have a heist game that's a lot of fun. It's basically just a luck on the draw. Um, so if you wanna participate, you are welcome to do so. Uh, for uh, subscribing to the channel, you automatically earned a little bit of a bonus inch points so that you have something to play with. I think it was probably a couple hundred points, 200 points, I think. Um, and then you earn, I think, 25 points for every five minutes that you watch. And then I think it's an extra two or three points for every message that you put in the chat. So good luck to you. And you can also play the slots game, too, <laughs> which everybody is currently playing. And it sounds like Lucas might have hit the 100,000 mark. Uh, somebody said they thought he hit it. I'm sure we'll see that in just a minute. So feel free to play that. Everybody really seems to like those games. Oh, you guys got a couple of extra minutes. My iron is still hot, not hot, so it's got to warm up a little bit. So you got another minute or two to play. Well, looks like somebody just started a heist, so good luck to you. Brenda, do exclamation point thimbles in chat to start. Vicky, honey, I don't think you got entered in. You need to make sure that it just says heist, no S on the end. So try again.
<laughs> Dawn. <laughs> that is exactly right, Dawn. Yep. Breaking the slots equals hell in a handbasket. <laughs> All right, but you hurry up. Hurry back because uh, we're just about getting ready to end the stream here. So hopefully you're able to catch us back. If not, you have a wonderful Sunday morning. And I hope to see you again soon. Oh, looks like the iron's hot. Let's go ahead and get this ironed up here. You were asking for Pam. Sorry, Brenda, I missed it. Let me scroll. I don't know what you were asking for Pam. Brenda was asking something for Pam. Oh, how to check the thimbles. I'm sorry. If you do exclamation point thimbles in chat. So you were, yeah, you were checking to, you were letting Pam know she could check. Absolutely. All right. Lucas says he's lowering the slots back down to a thousand because we're getting ready to end the stream here. Love your colors. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I appreciate that. Yes, these are beautiful colors. I'm absolutely loving them. All right, guys. So here's our second block. This is the second one we needed to make today. So we've officially reached our goal for today of making two so this one is this one and, and you guys are they're probably look exactly the same but they are different colors i promise um well here here here's them side by side they're completely different they they're different patterns and stuff but you guys probably can't see it on the camera because i have terrible quality all right guys that is it you guys had an amazing time in chat uh has the heist ran through if not i can wait a couple more minutes Lucas, did the heist run through yet? I don't see that it ran through, so we're waiting for the heist to come through. Because um, you guys started that. Yes, it is very pretty, Chloe. Yes, they are. It's very pretty. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll keep the chat going until the heist runs through, but then we'll cut it out. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the video out here. Uh, thank you so much to you guys for joining me today. I know it was a hot mess. <laughs> As I said earlier, it was a hell in a handbasket today. <laughs> Yes. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much. Uh, Sandy, Danny, you have a point off. Oh, I do. Let me look. Oh, I do. Sandra, thank you so much for pointing that out. She's right. I do. This point right here is off. Yep. I'll have to fix that. Thank you very much. Yes, the star legs are turned wrong. Yeah, so I'll pull that out and fix that. Thank you very much for pointing that out to me. I appreciate that. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here, but don't worry. The chat will continue running until the heist is over, and then I'll go ahead and end the actual live stream from there. But otherwise, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for pointing this out. I will make sure to get that fixed before the next one. You guys have an amazing weekend. Thanks for putting up with me and all my craziness. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did, and I will see you all again next week. Don't forget to check out the Vlogmas videos. They are posting every, I'm trying to do them every morning, but at least every day, hopefully every morning, and we will have a new video this week, hopefully, um, of Clue 5 of Cotton Cuts Piazzas, which I also have to record either today or tomorrow. So it's going to be a busy, another busy week for me. But I will see you guys again next week. Again, I will keep the chat going until the heist runs. So even if you haven't joined yet, you can totally join until the heist comes up. But it should be popping up here any minute. All right, guys, I will see you guys again next week. Have a great one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Make up your own rules as you go, stay on